Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. It is the Kevin Jackson Show. Donald Trump has released his 2020 campaign slogan. Have you heard it? 2020 campaign slogan. Keep America great. CAG. COG. <laughs> so we went from make America great again, which in, in 2020, by 2020, he will have accomplished it. In one term, Donald Trump could have said, if I haven't made America great in one term, I don't deserve another shot at the presidency. But he's done it. The new slogan, keep America great. I can see the hats now. The make America great again hats are going to be in the archives. And then we're going to have the keep America great hats. And I don't know what I, if I were going to be running in 2024, I would be looking for my slogan. Yeah, I'd be it would be something along the lines of continuing America's greatness. <laughs> CAG. Oh, man. Glad you guys are here. KJ dot com. You can also find us. You can give us a call at 844-551-8255. Twitter censored Drudge releasing that new slogan of Donald Trump. They censored it. They said it would be too sensitive of information for people. And they put a warning on that tweet. I just want you to understand what you're dealing with. I want you to understand why I keep asking you guys to go over to TeaPartyCommunity.org. Interesting things are about to happen there. I promise you, you're going to be so proud of me and what I've done over there in that team. It's going to blow your minds. Keep America great again. Keep America great, rather. Censored Donald Trump's 2020 slogan. This man is genius. He's already got his 2020 slogan. He's already got the campaign running. They're already getting it funded. And when it comes time for the election, all the Democrats who are going to be running against him, Donald Trump gets equal time. And it's it's blowing people's minds what he's been able to do. They still haven't figured out who's going to run. But I'll tell you who's not running. Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren has finally said, you know what? I'm not going to run in 2020 because Donald Trump has called me Pocahontas. And it is unfair that he's a racist and he gets to say that. And they're going, well, hey, take that test, girl. Take that test, girlfriend. Take that test. Let people know that you are one whatever percentage of engine that you say you are. See, I've noticed something about Donald Trump. He takes people down with the truth. Think about what Donald Trump does. Let me tell you something. No mystery, no mystical, magical anything here. No guru, no nothing. Just good old, plain old common sense. And and, and saying to himself, I'll fight you. You know what happens when people, does anybody want to fight? Yeah, I'll fight you. Oh, well, uh, I was just like kind of blustering. Well, too bad. I'm ready to fight. He takes down people with the truth. Donald Trump did something very unusual, which is what got people's attention during the campaign. He said, we need to close our borders because we've got drug dealers. We've got uh, gang bangers. We've got people that do sex trafficking, etc. You're calling Mexicans bad people, man. He says, I didn't say that about all the Mexicans. I just told you there's a group of people. And people thought that was going to be the end of him. The left thought yeah, that we'll get the media to beat him up. And that's going to be his undoing. And you know what you did, America? You said he's exactly right. Donald Trump says the things that most people, including leftists, are thinking. And they wonder, why is he winning? Why does he? Why is it that we're losing so many Democrats? They're losing Democrats, not gaining. And they can't figure it out. So Elizabeth Warren's one of these people that's supposed to run against him. She has been ordained to be the next big thing in the Democrat Party, the same way Anthony Weiner was. But Donald Trump didn't need to destroy Weiner. He did that all on his own. But Elizabeth Warren, he didn't set out to destroy her. You know what he did? He did something really innovative. He just told people who she was. He says she's a fake Indian. She's Pocahontas. She's not even real. She's a figment of of a liberal imagination. And she's taking advantage of the system by milking being an Indian. And that was it. He told the truth about her. Charlie Kirk tweeted, Elizabeth Warren won't take a genealogy test. Maxine Waters won't take an IQ test. What did Donald Trump say of Maxine Waters? He says she's an idiot. She's a moron. I've been saying that for a long time. 
not to try to take any thunder away from President Trump. But I've been telling you, members of the Congressional Black Cir- uh, uh, Caucus are nothing but circus clowns. So Trump's a little late on that one, but that's OK. He can have all the credit. Doesn't matter to me who makes it more known that Maxine Waters is a clown, that most of these members of the Congressional Black Caucus are nothing but circus clowns. I don't care. You take the credit. But it's a fact. Elizabeth Warren won't take a genealogy test because it will verify what we already know. She's been lying about being an Indian and she's taken advantage of it because that's what the left does. Her life has been dramatically improved by pretending to be something that she's not. Oh, by the way, that's what the left does. That's what they excel at. Excel at. They can't tell you, like, I'm in radio. I'm, I don't have a radio career. I'm, 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 in, I'm writing. I'm a writer. I'm not a journalist. I didn't get a journalism career. I don't have any. There's nothing about me to go, well, you know, my credentials for journalism come from the blankety blank school of journalism. And my ability to come on the radio is from the, me training at the blankety blank radio institute. No, I didn't know any of it. I don't know if I'm any good at any of it. And let me ask you, let me tell you this. I don't really care. It's people are reading for me to reading my work. People are listening to me. So that's the judge. But I don't need. Oh, yeah, I've won a Pulitzer and I've won this award and that award and I've got more awards and you can take a stick at. Just call me Ward. I don't need it. It's OK. They need that. They want you to understand. I went to the most prestigious school. I learned journalism at Princeton. And I studied under so-and-so and he was a Pulitzer Prize winner and he won the Nobel Peace Prize for blankety blank and all that. And, and you know what? It doesn't amount to a hill of beans. None of it. Donald Trump just tells you the truth about people. All these people, they're going to run against him. He's going to tell you, the truth. Bernie, Bernie's a sellout. Bernie had a chance. He did. He blew it. He, he wanted to hook crooked Hillary. Give me your person. Kamala Harris, dumbest person on the planet. Another dummy. I'd like to see her take an IQ test and whatever. He's going to destroy all of them. And worse than that, forget the what they would call personal attacks. Those aren't personal attacks. Those are the truths about these people. But the, the facts are going to be that Donald Trump has done an amazing job. I was on Steve Hilton's show on Sunday arguing about North Korea. I, I'll talk about this chick. I forget her name. It's like she said, just call me. Know me. Know me. I was like, but I don't want to know you. <laughs> but I'll talk about that when we come back just to kind of tell you a little bit how crazy the left is. Now, Kennedy went after her on the show, but I chose to take the high ground. Back in a bit, folks. Glad you're listening. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 